MO stands for? No, I don't. Could you take a guess, maybe? Um, genetic something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Medical? Is that what that is? I'm not even sure. That's GMO. HMO. GMO, don't know. But sorry. Would you take a guess? I just did. Genetically modified foods, right? Or genetically modified... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> GMO stands for genetically modified organism. So a GMO food is a food that uh, we believe has been tampered with in a laboratory. And uh, there are not conclusive studies that indicate that these are not damaging for your health. In fact, there are some incidences where uh, farm animals that are fed genetically modified organisms in their feed have substandard organs. And uh, if you take that and translate it into uh, the human, uh, we, we in the absence of conclusive studies, would be apprehensive about eating GMO foods. There was a tomato called the Flavor Saver Tomato, where the gene of a fish was inserted into uh, the tomato. And this, uh, the whole purpose of doing this was that the tomato would have a longer shelf life or it would enhance the flavor of the tomato uh, to create some part of a Franken food. Uh, it just goes against nature and I, if nature, if mother nature didn't intend to do this then I believe we shouldn't be tampering with it. learning about this together, it's, it's, it's relatively new what is GMO and what is not. But my understanding is if it's organic, it's not GMO. We have many different ways of managing pests. And pests are not just little tiny bugs. It's everything from mold, mildew, to deer. <laughs> we uh, transplant our vegetables when they're about this big. Uh, getting a head start on the weeds after we clear the field uh, with, a, with an organic flamer, with, with actual fire. We use a cover cloth called Rime, which keeps a lot of the bugs out. We use hoop houses and we'll even use electric fencing. So we figure out what the problem is and then we address it organically and naturally. As a farmer, are you against or for labeling GMO Prop 37 and why? Uh, as a farmer and as a consumer and as a mother, I would like uh, the right to know what is in our food. And uh, I think that transparency is, is good for farmers and people should stand by what they do. And if individual farms are interested in growing GMOs and using pest control measures that are, are non-organic, then they should stand beside that and, and, and say why they are doing it. But the consumer always has a right to know. As a grocery store and as a grocery buyer, um, we do not believe that Prop 37 will raise our prices. Prop 37 could be costly for the retailers because it's going to be our responsibility to make sure that what we're providing for the consumers is that we label it if it's GMO or non-GMO. Um, mainly on the items such as like the produce, whether the onion or the corn, if it's GMO or not, that's our responsibility. Whether it's a sticker or on yes. our pricing, it's not going to be, or make it a sign for it. It's not um, like Prop 37 says it's going to be so expensive. It's not, it's not a huge cost to us. The bag of chips or stuff that's already pre-packaged that we get in, it's those manufacturers' responsibility to make sure that it's on their food labels if it's GMO or not. Prop 37 passes and goes into effect, how will it affect your business? I believe here in Andy said it will help our business. Um, for the people that support our store are very aware and very conscious on how they buy and what they put into their bodies and so I think it will be a very beneficial thing. So, would you vote to have them label it? If it is modified? Yes. 
I mean, it, okay. Yeah, I think I would. Why? Because I want to know. Absolutely, we support a labeling of genetically modified foods. I think of Proposition 37 as a civil rights initiative, to be honest with you. I think that we have a right to, to information, and I think we have a right to choice. And so I put it up there with, with those um, incredibly important constitutional uh, benefits that we, that we have fought for for so long. We support Prop 37. We want to know if the products we are getting, the food, is GMO or not. Because you know, we want our consumers to know. And it is something that could spread throughout the nation and send a message to, to Washington that we do care about what's in our food. I don't know if I disagree with genetically modified organisms specifically, but I think I wouldn't really want to eat them. Because I think there's enough natural foods in the world that we can eat without mass-producing, man-made plastic foods. Thank you. Yeah. So, that's my opinion. I would vote yes. And I will vote yes. <laughs>